Hello everyone! Today we're going to take a look at how to make images or text move across the screen in your iMovie project. Previously we looked at how to insert images into your project, but those images were static. They couldn't move. Now we're going to see how to make them move. But in order to do this we're going to need to use iMovie's green screen function as well as Apple's Keynote software. Now, you may be saying, wait, Keynote is presentation software. Yes, you're right. But Keynote does have a few very important functions that will work well with iMovie, which we'll soon see. Now, assuming you already have your movie imported into your project, your first step will be to go to your iMovie preferences. Your preferences, you're going to go to your general tab and make sure that your show advanced tools check is actually checked. Yeah, without this, you're not going to be able to see any of the tools or have any of the functions required to, uh, to do what we're about to do. With that done, we're going to actually switch over to Keynote. Once in Keynote, we're going to open up a new project, and we're going to choose a white background theme. Then we're going to go to the Inspector, Slide Inspector, and go to Color Fill. At this point, we're going to choose a very bright green background that we're going to later key out in iMovie. With that, we're going to bring in the desired image or images into Keynote. I happen to have mine right here, and we're going to bring it right in. Actually, before we do that, it'd be a little bit wiser to get rid of the text. Now, if you, if you in your project wanted to actually use text instead of images, you would actually keep this on here and actually work with this the same you, as you would work with the images that we're about to. But in this case, we're going to use an image. So we're going to get rid of the text and bring in our image. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't resist using that one. All right. So actually, the first order of business is going to be re to resize this, because this is a huge image. All right. Okay. Now, you will notice that this image already has a background. Yours may or may not. But if it does, like mine, you're going to want to get rid of the background. For that, we're going to use the Alpha tool. So click on the Alpha tool. Choose a spot to get rid of it. And get rid of that background. Alright, good. And we're probably going to want to get rid of his shadow too. Alright. As nice as it was. Alright, now with your image, without its background, we're going to choose the inspector again. Make sure that your image is, is clicked on. Move over to build inspector and choose action. Effect, move. Alright. At this point, we can choose a starting point for our image and an ending point for our image. In this particular case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out and make my screen a little bit smaller so that I can actually see outside of the bounding box. I personally want to be able to make my image move out from outside of the screen to the other side of the screen like this. All right. Duration, I want it to last for about three seconds. That's going to be pretty close. All right. In your particular case, you may want to play around with the ease in and ease out functions, the path, which can be straight or curved. In order to learn about that, it's best just to play around with it and have fun. All right. Now, with your points selected and everything in order the way you want it you're going to next choose export and cho make sure to choose quicktime movie next oh, and of course going to choose a place to save it um, Homer flying uh, desktop export now, the size of your uh, movie that you're exporting may take longer than this or may take shorter than this, depending on how much you're doing. Mine is pretty short, so, it takes, so it's moving pretty fast. All right, so that's done. Okay, we can hide Keynote for now. Now to move back to iMovie. Okay, now once you're back in iMovie, you're going to go up to File, Import, Movies. Now... 
you're going to import your file that you just created. Let's see if I can find it. Homer flying. There we go. Import. Now we have our movie imported into iMovie. All right, you can see Homer flying across the screen. Now you're going to select it and going to choose the point in the movie where you want to insert it. Okay. okay. Right about there. Okay, let go. Now you're going to be greeted with this window that you only see if you have your advanced tools box checked that we went over earlier. All right, so you're going to click on green screen, and now that will key out all of that green in the background that we saw earlier. All right, and probably going to want to go with a full screen rather than cropped, and done. All right, now we should have Homer flying across the screen with my lovely girlfriend who went zip lining with me. <laughs> And there you see, that's how you make images or text move across the screen in iMovie. Thanks for watching.